This is one of the coolest looking airless basketballs I've ever 3D printed. And this is definitely the fastest airless basketball I've ever 3D printed. The company Ujoy Bio or Bio was nice enough to send me two samples of their filaments to make airless basketballs out of. The first filament they sent over was a metallic copper PLA plus filament. It's got this really cool unique glossy look and you can print it very fast as well. The second filament they sent over was this hyper PLA plus and What's crazy about this filament is you can supposedly print it at 500 millimeters per second, which is actually very impressive. Next, I had to actually print a basketball out of each of these filaments. And look how cool this metallic copper filament looks. It almost shines in the light and kind of looks like an optical illusion when you rotate it around. The Hyper PLA came out really clean too, and this is especially impressive considering how fast I was printing this PLA filament at. I put two videos next to each other for comparison, but on the left, I'm printing one one at 35 millimeters per second and on the right I'm printing the hyper series PLA at just under 500 millimeters per second. Most basketball prints take me about three to four days to actually print a full size but this one only took me about a day and a half. Before testing the bounce I wanted to see how much they weigh and the metallic copper filament came in at about 712 grams which is one of the heaviest basketballs I have printed yet and the hyper PLA weighed about 650 51.5 grams. All right, time to test the bounce. I'm gonna start with the metallic copper filament. It's not supposed to be as tough and durable as the hyper series filament, and it only took about one bounce to add cracks to the ball and about two or three to actually split it in half. And for the hyper PLA filament, it survived the first couple bounces, and when I actually dribbled this basketball, I was so very impressed with how well it bounced. I mean, it bounced probably as good as some of the best filaments that I've tested, which is kind of insane especially considering how fast I printed the basketball. But it didn't take too long before I noticed some cracking, and then as I dribbled it more and more, it didn't take too long before it ended up splitting in half as well. Well, I was very surprised at the results for these filaments. The metallic copper is a very cool looking filament, but unfortunately it ended up cracking on the very first couple of bounces. And for the Hyper Series PLA Plus, I was very surprised at how well it bounced. I mean, it was incredible, but the problem is it just couldn't hold up to the durability so that's too bad. I printed out a few extra models with these filaments and I have to say I'm very impressed with both. The amount of detail and speed that you can print these filaments at is very impressive and it is very high quality and I had absolutely no clogging or printing issues with either. Be sure to check out some of their amazing filament options especially while it's on sale. I have some exciting filaments I'll be testing soon so don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.